And we're back here on the STV Sports Show. Tavern United, Pembina joining me now and getting our artificial vitamin D on. Cameron Craig of the St. Boniface Reals. Good evening. Cameron, how you doing? Thanks a lot for having me. I'm doing great. How's the summer? Fabulous. Busy summer yourself. Uh, pretty quick, pretty quick. I'm happy to be back at the rink. I know. Is it too early to talk about hockey? I mean, you've got to go to an exhibition game right after this, correct? Yeah, you know what? Uh, the hockey talk never stops. It's hockey talk right. will never stop. That's right. So let's talk about Reals hockey. Last season, uh, a very young team. Definitely. This year, a little bit more veteranship. Uh, lost a couple of veterans from aging out, but how does the team look so far with their first couple of ice times? Uh, it looks very promising. Um, lots of speed and uh, just a lot of good character in the room. Um, that's kind of what we're aiming for. Um, we set our standards as being a uh, place where people want to come play. And uh, you know what? With some of our uh, some of our community guys this year, we're uh, we're expecting a, a pretty young, still but uh, very fast team. Absolutely. You want to make sure that you have that one character trait. I mentioned you, that to me last year. Tell me how many returning players we have coming up, and uh, do we have you know a good core group of guys that are speedy and feisty little uh, skaters? And well, we probably only will have about uh, in between seven and ten uh, returning players. We're still kind of waiting to see where a couple guys land. You know how it is the first couple of weeks of junior hockey camps there. Um, uh, the players we do have coming back that are at camp right now, we're very happy to have. Uh, definitely lots of speed, lots of hockey sense in that group. And uh, same with the up-and-coming you know, up players that, that we have coming into the system this year from either high school or AAA provincial. But uh, yeah, it's a very exciting camp thus far. One of the benefits of playing in the MM that has been developing over the last decade is the schedule and allowing a little bit more flexibility within the schedule. We're talking about players that have you know, graduated high school, maybe not having that full commitment of playing junior A hockey and being on the ice daily. Gives them a chance to have a job, a little bit of a social life, still go to school. Have you noticed that with players, how they have a more full-rounded uh, lifestyle with playing real hockey? Well, absolutely. Uh, that is the best part about this league. It's where people can go and uh, young men can go uh, concentrate on really what's important at that age, which is school, work, family, and still come to the rink and play at a very high level. Um, uh, we don't. We we will never tell a player that the reels is their first priority. But when they're at the rink wearing a reels uniform, skating at reels practice, it is their first priority, and that's uh, that's the way they treat it, and uh, that's the way this league should be run. Got to put the hard hat on when you get to Notre Dame Arena. Put in the time, right? Yeah, and the warm gloves. And the warm gloves yeah. still kind of yeah. chilly in there. Yeah, they fix the ice plant, so <laughs> I think we're gonna stop leaning on the uh, uh, on the outside to keep the ice cold. But uh, no, it looks great in there thus far. I found that garbage mix make the loudest pom poms possible. Uh, do coaches have like a set of garbage mitts on the go, or is it gonna be more? Uh, Finger midi. Uh, Coach Ryan's gloves are basically garbage anyways, so yes, <laughs> yeah, I guess the garbage mitts would be the good term. Are there any expectations for this Reals team, or is it just more progress from building on last year's results? The expectations are always high. Um, when you look at the way the league works and looking at who you're capable of getting in, uh, you know, we're always competing for a championship every year, no matter how last year went. You, know, you look at PV, the year before last, they missed the playoffs uh, by a couple points and come in do have a great off season? All the credit to the guys over there, um, and they won a championship, and they put together quite a group there. And you know that's that's kind of what we're we have our minds on doing. You know, uh, as long as we get the bodies there, we get the work ethic, we get the culture set, uh, we think that we can compete every year, as can anybody in this league. For sure. So, how many preseason games are slated, and how many regular season games? are played by each team? Uh, well, we're going into uh, the preseason tournament in Transcona. We play our first one tonight uh, against PV. Uh, we, uh, so we got five preseason games. Um, we had a couple of kind of inter-squad skates thus far, but uh, the, uh, the Transcona does a fantastic job organizing that preseason uh, tournament um, with all the teams. Uh, it, it, it's great for each organization and uh, to you know, hammer off three games in a weekend there and. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the weekend coming up. For sure. Now, Cameron, we've talked in length about the off-ice program that the Reals are involved in, especially with the anti-bullying program. What's happening this year with that, and what are the players expecting to do to, for their community service work uh, with Reals Hockey? Uh, this year, uh, as we had talked about in the last time uh, I visited the show here, we have, we've we switched uh, from a campaign to a foundation. Um, this year we want to be active year-round within the community. Um, our players, uh, their biggest 
one of the biggest commitments uh, is obviously to the community and to the foundation. And, and uh, what, what we're going to offer within the St. Uh, Boniface Minor Hockey Organization is the opportunity for young kids who are intrigued by the presentations we do to have a real player come to their classroom. Um, and uh, the young man or young lady who uh, invites the Riel's player will do the same presentation with the Riel's player to their classroom that we do to their teams and uh, the school division was very excited to hear about it, um, SBMHA is very excited to hear about it and uh, the most importantly uh, our players are all on board and want to be as involved in the community as they can so we're very excited about that moving forward and also we're going to have uh, some of the older kids within uh, the St. Boniface Seals program doing presentations to the younger junior SEALs. So it's just a community serving the community and that's what we want to do in St. Boniface. And it's great to have those older role models for the younger players and the importance of that balance of life. I mean, from school to extracurriculars and seeing older men and women do exactly what they wish to do when they become that age. So it's a great project, a great foundation to be a part of. Cameron Craig, anything else you want to touch base before I let you go to your exhibition game? <laughs> no, no, i got to get to the ring, but thanks a lot for having me. It's always a pleasure, guys. Always. So Cameron Craig with the St. Bonas Reels, a couple of regular season games, or preseason games this weekend in Transcona, and then the main season, regular season, starts in October or before that? Uh, no, we're 25th, home opener so, against the Vicks. There we go, against the Vicks down in Notre Dame Arena, the cooler the Notre Dame Arena against the Vicks. Should be a good tilt, always kind of like cross-river rivals, I guess. It's pretty fun. It's a good time there. Yeah. Well, Eat. Meet. Stay. Play! Canad Inn's destination centers are your home for hospitality, with 10 locations in Manitoba and one in North Dakota, featuring the finest in accommodations, food and beverage, entertainment, banquet and conference facilities, and so much more. For the best service and best value, your only stop is Canad Inn's. Call today at 1-888-33-CANAD or visit us right now at canadins.com.